name is Aki Fukuoka, illustrator of Billy B. Brown. Today I thought I would show you how to draw cupcakes. Get your pencil and paper and let's get started. Do you have all your tools ready? Crayons, pencils, felt tips? What are you using? I will be using a marker pen so that it's easier for you to see the lines. Let's start off with a basic cupcake. We draw a little mountain, a bit like an upside down letter U. Then you draw a line across to close off that mountain. Then we draw a zigzag along the middle of the mountain. After that, you connect the edges of the zigzag to the bottom with vertical lines. Now you have a cupcake inside a case. Let's add a cherry on top. You draw a circular shape on top, then a little curved line. From there comes out a stem. Let's finish off with a squiggly line for the icing. Yum, I'm starting to get hungry. Shall we draw another one? Let's go. This time let's make a tall cupcake. We draw a tall mountain and join the bottom to close the shape off. This time, rather than a zigzag, let's try drawing smaller mountains so that we can have a different type of casing for this cupcake. Again, we join the edges with vertical lines to the bottom. I think this one needs a bit of cream on top. Let's draw a curved line, a bit like a letter S on an angle on the top. Then draw a curved line from top of the cream to the cupcake. Inside, we draw another curved S. Doesn't that look tasty? For the decoration, let's draw lots of little rectangles followed by little circles. Now we have a tall cupcake with cream and sprinkles. Mmm, I'm getting really hungry now. Let's try just one more cupcake. Let's try a slightly wider cupcake. We draw a wider mountain and like before, close off the bottom. Let's draw zigzag again. And let's decorate the casing with double circular patterns. I think we should turn this one into a birthday cupcake. Draw two straight lines on top of the cupcake and draw a sideway line to join the top. A little line for the wick and a raindrop for the flame. Let's decorate with black diamonds. Don't they look like chocolate chips? Then diagonal lines to finish off the candle. And now we have a birthday cupcake. So many cupcakes. What does your one look like? 